I promised Robert that if the weather was good, I would fly his son Felix on his birthday. The weather was good, and we did fly, and this video is for you, Felix. My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. So I'm aiming for those trees about where that bird is. Wow. <coughs> wow. Sharing the sky with a buzzard. Yeah. There's loads around now, aren't there? Yeah. so quickly. Sorry? Is, is that Harridge and... Uh, yeah, yeah, no. you got Felix Doe in the distance. Did it so quickly? Yeah, I'm... yeah. And you got the wind farm at Clacton. You can just see Jumbo the water tower in Colchester now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Wow. See Felix Doe, Felix. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, well, he was up quick. So from where you are, Felix, you're okay looking out both sides? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now as a farmer, this is a great time to fly. You can really see the crop. You got the football stadium down there? Yeah. New sports facility they've just built, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's the new rugby ground, isn't it? Yeah. But my son was saying it's also Colchester's training ground. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See the football ground, Felix? Yeah. So how long have you been flying, Tim? <laughs> uh, probably 40 years. Oh, right. Uh, fun flying, sport flying. Sorry? In yeah, this is a, we're over Colchester now. Already? Yeah, so quick. I'm, re I'm really nosy. I can. Uh, there's a few few farms I recognise. <laughs> oh, right. oh, what are they up to? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. So how much? Do you get to enjoy the view, and how much are you concentrating on flying? Um, yeah, I mean, in some respects, if you're doing something like this, which is we sometimes refer to as a bimble, um, you're not having to worry unduly about the airspace you're flying through or who you're talking to. Um, on on cross-country flights, when you're having to talk to different air traffic control units, and you've got to be aware of what, you know, sometimes there's lots of airspace that we fly through where you can't go higher than two and a half thousand feet. So you've got to make sure that you're, you've got good terrain clearance, but also, you know, in a minute or two, we might well hit a, a thermal, which will take us up. What you don't want it to do is you don't want it to take you up into um, the airspace. That see, was what we just felt there. Yeah. And without actually doing anything, 
We were going up at 300 feet a minute. <laughs> so there are hail nets on our apple trees over there. Sorry? That, that sort of covered area there, that's one area of our orchard okay. called Honey Thai, which is about two, three years old. The oldest one in there is about 14. And uh, we're about, we're going directly for our house, Felix. So, Felix, there's our house. Which one are we after? Uh, so, you see the water tower? Yeah. Uh, there's the barn. Uh, and yeah. And that's the sort of cream house. Yeah. With a bit on the back. And there's a pond behind you. Uh, yeah, right, uh, it's like a reservoir. Yeah. yeah. So, you're almost part of the golf course then? Yeah, exactly. So, we're right next to the golf course. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll put it your side. Coming left, everybody okay? Yeah. Oh, lovely. You see all the hail nets on the right, Felix? That's, yeah. the, that's the orchards, the AD plant. Oh, we're right over the house. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, lodges. Lo lodges. My mum's house. Yeah. Oh, wow. Clear in the turn. So is this all yours as well? Yeah. So, um, so my grandmother started the farm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so all the orch apple orchards are ours. Um, you know, a new one, new one going in there on that brown bit, and we've just cleared an old orchard there, which is going to be new as well. New cherry, new cherry variety. Okay. Um, um, is it as you imagined it was going to be from the air? It's, uh, it's, it looks, it looks neater, <laughs> which, is nice, which is nice. Yeah, then we're just lovely landscape around here. So, uh, dur during lockdown, the boys can keep complaining, because I've got four boys. Yeah. Um, the, uh, that we've done a lot of walking, um, and re really rediscovering this bit. It's really okay. lovely. Your house is coming up on the right-hand side. Yeah, the, the reservoirs look really long and thin, but they're quite wide when you're down. <laughs> yeah. Got somebody out in the front. Give a wave. Yeah. Okay, I will probably keep away from the golf course now. Fair enough. Yeah. Simply because not everybody likes aeroplanes. <laughs> The one thing I forgot to say is if you keep an eye out for aircraft, if you see anything, let me know. <laughs> and what we do, it's a clock code. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and you just say whether it's 12 o'clock high, medium, low, whatever. But that's one of the main things you said about, you know, workload, etc. Yeah. But that's one of the, the things you do is you just you keep a look, you know, a, a lookout going. So Felix, are you having a good birthday treat? Sorry, darling. It's great. <laughs> do you recognise anything? No. So our backup plan, if the weather hadn't been good, was to go uh, to Manning Tree yep. and to go canoeing. Okay. So we were... So you had a backup so we plan. We had a backup plan, but Felix was like, what, if the weather was bad, we were going canoeing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah. So canoeing was a bit, would be a better option, would it, Felix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so cool up here. Hey, I got some free lift. 600 feet a minute, 700 feet a minute. So in terms of the ceiling of where we can fly to, how close are we? Uh, we've got 4,000 feet to go. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah. Plenty. It's not, not a problem, not an issue. Because you've got the old naval school there, with all the fancy buildings. Yeah, they've got, a, oh yes, oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice view. 
So, do any of your friends go to the hospital school? Do any of your friends go to the Royal Hospital School? No? I mean, when we have, oh, there's some sort of parade going on down there. Oh yeah, on the, on the parade ground. Yeah. Felix, do you see that? At the school. Um, so that's the Royal Hospital. It, right in a minute, it'll come out from under your wing. That's Alton Water over there. Well, the Felix used to do summer sailing club okay. at the uh, Alton Water. And that's the hospital school. They've got a parade going on, oh, really, and a band and everything. I was going to orbit it, but I won't, because that will spoil their <laughs> spoil their day. The thing I'm always fascinated with with Shotley is the uh, the old Master Ganges. I don't know what that is. You don't know? Okay. Well, I'll put it your side. But it used to be a cadet training school, right. um, and children would go there. I think from as young as about eleven and they'd learn the craft of, of being naval seamen. And all of the cadets used to have to, to the beat of a drum, had to climb the mast. Right. But one boy was designated the button boy, and his job was to climb right to the very top of the mast and stand on, and I think it was a nine inch button of wood with a piece of metal behind him, and he had to stand to attention and take the salute. Wow. <laughs>
Got them all? Yeah. I don't think you saw them, Felix, so uh, this is what we were looking at. I don't know whether you could see it, I've got the advantage of knowing, but right on the nose now, just below the horizon, is the airfield. So oh. we're actually going straight for it. Yeah, that's madness. It's just, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a bigger area, yeah. and it's just below the horizon. But we won't do a straight-in approach. Yeah. We'll go to the north of the village, and we fly around the village. And it gives me a chance to see who's, if there's anybody on the ground. Naylor traffic over over Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead Naylor traffic. Fuel pump is coming back on. Lights come on. I'm on the front tank. I've stayed on the front tank the whole time. And we're setting up a circuit pattern, which means that we've got two reservoirs here in front of us, and then we turn towards the equestrian centre. You can see they've got gliders out there. Okay, so the air brake is coming down. Smoke traffic call phone there, Alpha Charlie Kilo rejoining uh, crosswind for runway 24. Nayland traffic over over Yankee Echo Hotel final, Nayland traffic. To the airstrip, Felix. Now, what helped us to an extent when we took off will hinder us a bit on landing, because of course it means that we're going to have a tailwind. Can't see any deer, hares, <laughs> pheasants, badgers, or anything else. We were only able to cut the top half because it was just too much for the mower. <laughs> oh, good. whether I'd managed to fly over the weekend, you know, whether I'd had my fix or not. Yeah, I can imagine. 